Hey, hey, hey! The new Fat Albert Show with Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids, plus the Brown Hornet. You'll have some fun now with me and all the gang. Learning from each other while we do our thing. This is Bill Cosby coming at you with music and fun. And if you're not careful, you may learn something before we're done. So let's get ready, okay? Hey, hey, hey. will attempt to leap over not 10 cars, not 11 cars, not 20 cars, but three old washing machines, two old TV sets, four old beds, and one old mush mouth. <laughs> Maestro, a drum roll, please. Stop! Rudy, stop! Turn back before it's too late. I can't walk. Me neither. Don't do it. You might get. <laughs> What's the big idea? You chicken? Yeah. You told me if you didn't make it, I'd get your brown hornet decoder ring. Ah, uh, don't you chumps know anything about showmanship? I gotta fake you out a few times before I can make the real jump, just like Evil Knievel. Evil Knievel? More like no class to no class. <laughs> okay, dudes, uh, this time's for real. Oh, whoa! <laughs> hey, hey, get out of the way. Hey, hey, move it, man. Hey, 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 move it, move it. pretty super. But Lawanda is something to write home about. She's also smart. She doesn't take risks, and she wears the pads and helmet, too. Hey, Lawanda, that was fine skateboarding. Thanks, Fat Albert. I was just telling Rudy that he should be more careful and wear knee pads, elbow pads, helmet. Do you realize that you're talking to the smoothest, slickest, sharpest, smartest, and in your case, I'd suggest a mouth guard. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't you guys have anything better to do? Uh, we don't usually let girls in the clubhouse, but uh, if uh, you want to come watch the Brown Hornet... No, thanks. I gotta go. But you can catch my act this weekend at Sam's <laughs> Skateboard City in the city championships. Say, you don't have to hitchhike. Here, I got an extra bus token. <laughs> don't fret it. I'll get a free ride. You know, hitchhiking's not too cool. Sometimes it turns out to be a one-way trip. <laughs> Look, here's my chauffeur. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Let it spell Man, we're gonna be late. Gotta warm up the set. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, hey, the brown horse on. Come on, man. Hurry up. Hey, hey, hey. Love the brown horse. Well, you almost missed it. Quiet. I can't hear. It's not a bird. It's not a bee. It's the brown horse. As you recall, last time we left our hero, the Brown Hornet, and his trusty pal Stinger, hopelessly trapped inside a fiery space volcano, sealed from above by an immovable space boulder. Using the Brown Hornet's superpowers, they naturally escaped unharmed. <laughs> now, we pick up with our heroes as they face an even worse threat. I don't like this at all, Stinger. Uh, neither do I. Don Cassette Dex busted. I mean our ship. It's losing speed. Speed loss due to approximately 350 pounds of excess weight. Well, uh, what about the cassette deck? I'd rather not say. I'm sick of that Count Spacey tape. Well, okay, I'll, I'll fix it myself. Now, Stinger, you can't just use brute force. Oh, it's the uh, only kind of force I've got. All systems A-OK. -okay. We have resumed speed. Tweeterbell, don't you realize Stinger is adrift in space? I told you we were carrying 350 pounds of excess weight. <laughs> <laughs> Music. It must be the Brown Hornet or Count Spacey. Well, I was close. It's Stinger. Uh, yeah, stuck in space with only one tape. Of course, it is Count Spacey, but uh, better figure your way out of this. We've got to save Stinger. <laughs> yeah! Please, Tweeterbell. Stinger is an irreplaceable aide-de-camp in my eternal vigil against the galaxy's evils. And here I thought he was the comedy relief. <laughs> stop! Hey, stop! Hey, I'm a lift! Oh, look at that. Never take a lift. Hop right in. Say, <laughs> <laughs> not bad. I wonder who, uh... <laughs> That's right, Stinger. And once I hit you with my new evaporator ray, I'll add you to my collection of dehydrated superheroes. <laughs> but but I, I'm not a superhero. I, I, I'm a sidekick. <laughs> These are Stinger's last known coordinates. But look, Tweeterbell, do you recognize that ship? Dr. Mondo? <laughs> You don't suppose Stinger would be foolish enough to take a ride from a stranger? Does a hen have lips? <laughs> All right. Prepare to beam me aboard Mundo's ship. Yeah, that sure beats collecting tropical fish. <laughs> Not so fast there, Dr. Mundo. Huh? The brown hornet? Yeah. I'm here to get Stinger. What have you done with him? He's been shrunk to the size of a raisin by my evaporator ray. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> of course, the audiovisual aid helps clear things up. Here, catch. Catch? Hey, what's this? My secret water pistol. I've got to drop on you. What's been evaporated can be instantly unevaporated. <laughs> Please, Brown Hornet, let's get out of here. You don't even have to leave a deposit on the bottle. Tweeterbell, beam us aboard. Just a second, Stinger. One drop of water, and you're back to normal. What was it like being evaporated to the size of a raisin? I, I was scared, 
and thirsty. I hope you've learned not to accept rides from strangers. Oh, you're not kidding. I could have spent the rest of my life in a bottle. <laughs> not only that, I'll have you know that besides being the most sinister supervillain in the galaxy, Dr. Mundo is the worst driver. <laughs> not again. What is it? Whatever it is, it's headed straight for us! Will our daring heroes survive their latest dangerous threat? If so, how? Tune in next week for another exciting episode of The Brown Hornet! Our man, the Brown Hornet, comes out on top again. And he made his point clear. Things that apply in space apply to us on Earth, too. Things like never hitchhike any kind of ride. Sam, you! You think you're on the street or something? He probably doesn't even own the car. The gang and I are watching the traffic zip by. And even though they're not old enough to drive, they're still getting kicks out of just looking. <laughs> Next to driving, riding's the second best deal. But not when you have to hitchhike. Man, look at that old car. Yeah, it's so old it's got upper and lower plates. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Didn't you recognize Mudfoot? In that junky old car? You heard me. And it's a perfect matchup. Rusty and musty. I bet it has everything in it. Yeah, like cruise control. Like baby and stabby over. Like the wagon? This is as far as I go. Thanks a lot. What's happening, guys? You ready for the Super Bowl of skateboarding? Because I sure am. Sure, 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 sure yeah, 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 sure. Right. sure. Just as soon as the bus comes, we'll be on our way. Waiting for the bus? That's for turkeys. I'm hitching the rest of the way. Why are you doing that? Don't you know it's dangerous? The kind of people... Save it, Fat Albert. I've already got a ride. And don't worry, nothing's gonna happen to me. Funny thing about Lawanda, she's so careful not to take risks on skateboarding, but so reckless about the risks in hitchhiking. I think the bus will be along any second now. Maybe Lawanda has the right scoop on hitchhiking. I can answer that in one word. Uh-uh. I don't know. Nothing's happened to her so far. So far, no. But hospitals are full of hitchhikers. Nothing happened to until the one time. And Albert, they ought to call you undeveloped film. Undeveloped film? He means you're so negative. <laughs> you run? That's my punchline. <laughs> Here's our ride. Where? Oh, I get it. <laughs> Arnold, I love it. Hey, wait a minute. You're short. And who are you, Wilt Chamberlain? <laughs> I hope you're not going to charge him full fare. He's only three years old. Three years old? He looks at least 15. Can he help it if he worries? <laughs> hey, 
pull in your foot. Hey, pull in your lip. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, to cross the board, I ought to be driving a bakery truck. <laughs> Mr. Bus Driver, how are we going to know when it's time for us to get off? By the smile on my face. <laughs> Next contestant in the first annual Sam Skateboard City Super Bowl of Skateboards is Hang Ten Robbins. Look at that track. Hope we're not late. Wee oui, wee, oui. got a CD, the Robin Dubber. And with that time, Hang Ten Robbins goes into first place. Thank you. But I owe it all to four wheels and great ball bearings. <laughs> Luanda's better than him. <laughs> Our next and final contestant will be Miss Luanda Curtis. <laughs> hey, 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 she came to play. Luanda Curtis. Please report to the starting line. Last call for Lawanda Curtis. As you see, it's time for the big showdown. Where's Lawanda? We can't wait any longer, so Lawanda Curtis, wherever you are, we are sorry. And the winner of the first annual Sam Skateboard Super Bowl of Skateboard is Hang Ten Robin. <laughs> I guess LaWanda just didn't think she had a chance. They should call you Christmas necktie. Huh? Because you're loud and useless. I just hope she's OK. Nothing's going to happen to me. And now the great Rudy, skateboarding his way into the Book of World Records in your heart, Oh, oh, man, man. what's happening? Uh, why are you doing this, Rudy? Because it's there, man. <laughs> I think it's because of his good sense. Because it's not there. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, get me out of here. <laughs> why are you just standing there? We're waiting for the late show. Fred Albert, I'd like a word with you. What, what about? Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. He didn't do it. It, it, it was me. <laughs> ah, I'm the one that broke the Jackson's window. Uh, that's not why I'm here. Uh, oh, 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 oh well, well, then Rudy broke it. A friend of yours, Lawanda Curtis, has been involved in an accident. Lawanda? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Is she all right? Fortunately for her. Well, there are no internal injuries but it's going to be a while before she feels 100%. Oh, no. How could she do that after all the times we warned her about hitchhiking? Fat Albert. Hello, Mrs. Curtis. Is it OK for Luanda to have visitors? For a few minutes. One or two or three or, uh, well, maybe we should step outside. We brought some candy to cheer you up. Two jawbreakers? Well, uh, we, we found a box and, uh... Thanks. It's the thought that counts. Fat Albert, I should have listened to you. I knew hitchhiking was dangerous, but... It's like the Brown Horner said. When you take rides from strangers, you don't know what you're getting into. Yeah, some drivers are so bad. The other day, I almost got hit by a car. You gotta be careful crossing the street. I was in a swimming pool. Uh, uh, that's a joke. He wasn't a bad driver. I want y'all to know one thing for sure. I promise you, 
I'll never hitch another ride again. Ever. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's okay. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. Can you promise us something else? Like? Uh, that next year, you'll beat Hang Tin Robbins in the second annual Sam Skateboard City Super Bowl of Skateboards. Let's just say I'll give him a real run for his money. Wanda got out of it pretty lucky. She's going to be OK. Hitchhiking kids can have a lot of things happen, most of them not good. Things like mutilation, beatings, auto accidents, assault, rape, and quite often, death. Hi, LaWanda. Where are you going? Home! I hope you're going to take the bus. No! Then your mom's going to pick you up. No! Dad? No! LaWanda, I thought you learned your lesson. Hitchhiking is... Fat Albert, I live here. Oh, well, never mind. I'm giving LaWanda another gift. I'm going to give her a bus token. And you can bet your life from now on, she'll be using these. <laughs> <laughs>